Yo, what's going on guys? Flurpleder here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Skybounds video. I'm excited because we're getting into something pretty fun for the series, kind of fun, I find it fun, and hopefully you guys at home will as well. Before I jump into this though, I want to go and say if you want to see some more Skybounds on the channel and are enjoying this series, show it some love by leaving a like down below and maybe a comment. Tell me how your day was. How was your Halloween? It is officially not Halloween, so let me know how was your Halloween? Did you have fun? Did you get the spooks? Did you get the scares? Did you get all of the candy? Because that's what matters. But yeah, anyways, I went ahead and got myself off that dumb challenge where I had to mine 200 coal, because let's be honest, who would really want me to sit out here and mine 200 coal for a video? It would not be very entertaining. I went ahead and decided to just do it, plus I needed to actually refill this because I was mining some gold, diamonds, emeralds, stuff like that, so I could get some stars because I was a little bit low on stars, as you guys remember in the last video. We're now at 2 million. Anyways, as well, you probably saw our challenge now is to enchant five items. Just so happens, I have a sword here that I want to work on, and I believe I have the enchants to work on it up here somewhere. Since they changed up Skybounds, I don't know what's good for swords, so I'm kind of winging it. So I'll go and throw some of these on here. I'll at least need to th actually need to throw all of these on for the challenge, now I think about it, so... Perfect? Uh, how charged up are you? Oh, you have a bit of ways to go, so I want to always get them, and this is advice to you guys. Always go, especially ma mainly for Immortal Enchants, and I'd say Legendary because there's a chance it could go from, from Legendary to Immortal, and if it fails in that process, it breaks, I believe, the book disappears. If it fails anything before... Legendary, it's not a big deal, but you definitely want to go very high so you don't lose your book. That is probably the biggest thing. You will lose the dust and all the progress you put into the book, but I'd say that's not as bad as losing the book, in my opinion. Ooh, and there's our final one, Backstab 10. We're going to definitely need more dust. Good thing I have more dust. Uh, I could actually go take these down here. After this, I won't really have more dust, so I'm going to have to get some more... I don't currently have a way to do it, and I want to go ahead and set up a, what's it called, a iron golem before I set up witches. I think that's the idea. No, I want to go to this. Throw those in there, and then there's still 25 in there, or 15 in there, so there's that. Five more dust. I guess that really doesn't help much. It just compacts it, but it makes me click less. That's what I'm going for mainly here. I just don't want to click a bunch. So let's go ahead and work on Shatter next. It's going to be a little unfortunate when I get to the end of this and I won't have all five books to enchant, but at least it's progress. I also want to work on armor eventually. So, I mean, that's a thing. I think, honestly, 2000's the range I want to go for this. Yeah, let's check that real fast. Yeah, 2000. Don't need to go any higher, which is fantastic. But that range for the over or the what's it called overpower isn't it yeah or overload um i think it goes slightly higher each level in immortal so you definitely got to keep an eye on that and make sure you're not just you know tossing it in and clicking the button you want to keep your eyes out for enchanting it's 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 honestly fun i i find it pretty relaxing to just work on some books it takes a lot of stars and a lot of dust which is Terrible. I mean, I actually, I could break down some books as well. I gotta keep that in mind. You can also get dust. Oh, whoops. I went way over on that one. I was not paying attention. Don't do that like me. Although, there is one where you got to, um... You gotta overload a book to 10,000 as a challenge at one point. So... Witch spawners are very great. Although, there are more ways to get dust. And I always forget that. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Ooh, someone found a dwarven spawner at the zone. There we go. Shatter 10. So there's another one down. And then double strike. We'll go and work on this one. This is pretty much a, a given one. Like, I don't even know if I need to go that high on this one, do I? So it's not necessarily the or the the rarity. It's more so the level, which is interesting. Because you saw that. That was like 400. And now it says common enchant double strike 2. But it's not really a common enchant. It's 
technically still immortal, and I don't know how much I would need for this one. Alright. So we need to upgrade that a little bit more. Okay, I'm saying about 1,200 is the goal. Okay, let me see. Yeah, alright, alright, yeah, there we go. Parish 5. I don't think we're gonna get all of these. I don't, I, I don't really know. We could go and use Cat's Enchantress Grinder a little bit to get some dust, but I might try and see if I can buy some from people. Is that enough for that? Very high. Oh, you really hate to see it, man. Okay, so here's the plan for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get that book to about where I had it. Hopefully. Maybe. I'm gonna try and find one real fast. So we actually had a parish book that was much better than that one. I don't even know why I was bothering with that one. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's just not. Um, it's not ready. Uh, let's go ahead instead. We'll just throw some enchants on this. We'll throw shatter. We'll go and throw backstab. We'll go ahead and throw a double strike on there. Beautiful enchants. I know you can get sharpness for, but you need the eternal enchant for that. So that's gonna be a process in the on, you know, in the future. For now, though. Sharpness 3, Double Strike, Backstab, Shatter, Bloodsuck 10. Beautiful enchants. If you guys don't know what these enchants do, I'll go over them. Obviously, you know, Sharpness increases the damage of your sword, so now it does 10 damage instead of, like, you know, 7 base damage, I believe. Well, 10.75, so basically 11 damage. Um, double Strike has a chance to do double damage, which is fantastic. Backstab, I don't know the exact, you know, way it works, but it, yeah, it has a chance to proc and do a lot of damage and bleed the opponent which drains their health slowly shatter will do more durability damage blood suck basically makes them bleed but it also heals you what it takes from them which is actually so freaking beautiful and then of course there's perish which has a chance to give them um well actually we can click this one that's a chance to inflict wither on enemies for a short, a little short time, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some enchants out of here, and, uh, oh, yeah, gu guillotines once so I could be cutting off heads. Ooh, petty or guillotine. Honestly, Cat would probably want me to get confetti for her, but I'm gonna go with guillotine, because I want to cut off some heads of people, because as you guys know, I have a head collection down there. And yeah, I want to continue that. So I'm going to go ahead, grab some enchants, and dust them, and I'll see you guys when I have some more dust. So I dusted a bunch of books. As you can see, this is pretty much empty, and that's pretty much empty. I'll probably eventually sort those out. I think that's enough that I will be able to actually fix these up how I need them to. I'm not even, I'm sorry, I'm very unfocused. Um, I think this will be enough for what I need them to be, to do the things, the words that I'm trying to say, but I'm bad at, I will be able to hopefully upgrade these. There are probably more books that I can go ahead and out if I need to in there, so that's a good thing, but I do have almost three stacks of 75. Gotcha. 75 arcane power right there, which is actually insane, because I know, I think originally there's 60, but I don't know where the 75 ones came from exactly. I don't know if that was a new buff to them or something, or just extra ones you can get. I feel like it's kind of like how there was the orange warzone crate and then the blue one. I believe the blue one was better. Oh, I went way high on that one. Oops, pay attention, Flurp. What are you doing with your life? YouTube. YouTube is the answer to what I'm doing with my life, at least. Alright, uh, 2,200. I want to go higher. I, I'm always tempted to go high, like, go for that high and be like, you know what? I can do it, and I see that zombie spawner about to go in AH. He's about to, about to sell that for one star by now, or like... Oh, never mind. Alright, well, waste of my time. I was about to cop that thing. I wanted that zombie spawner for one star. Seeing as I accidentally broke two of them, about magic touch on it. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, this is probably not actually going to be enough because I still got to upgrade this book, but it's a start. Yeah. Alright. Uh, this one's what? Level 6? Okay, yeah. Level 6? I think I'll have to go to 1500. Oh, well, I went over that. That's fine. Alright. Um, how much is that going to be? 100? Okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and grab more books to Alk, but we can go ahead and throw Parish on our sword beautiful god sword we have right here we only need one more book so i'm gonna go ahead 
get more books to Alk, and I'll see you guys when we have more dust. All right, we just finished Alking again, and I'm really hoping this is the last time I will have to do it for a while, because that hurt our balance like crazy. As you can see, we were at, what, like, two mil stars? We're low lag. Now we're currently at 1.3 million stars. I'm gonna have to grind a lot. Um, with my blaze spawner set up and my two, uh, my two grinder heady th head things, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's, it takes a good bit, but it's mostly a lot of AFKing and then a lot of clicking, which isn't too bad. I just need to add extra methods of getting stars to that, like some AFKable farms, like IGs, once I get enough stars for that. I am literally gonna have to alchemize uh, just, just a little bit more so I can get this. I'm triggered, actually. That should be enough alchemizing. I really hope, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be, because never lucky. Actually, I'm confident it will be because this book is actually right there. Boom! There it is! Guillotine 10. Just what I needed. And now, we can complete our god sword. And get ourselves a fat level up. And now we have the iron ore factory, which I'm probably gonna do off camera. I'm not gonna do it yet, hopefully. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. You let me know if you wanna see a video or maybe a stream doing the iron ore factory. Leave a comment down below. For now, though, I also need to do a video of renaming my god sword, so leave me some suggestions down in the comments below. But for now, yo, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead and smash the like on it. Subscribe for more daily videos every single day, 6 p.m. EST. But if you don't see a video and you're wondering where the upload is at, check out my Twitter or Discord down in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.